Hey, welcome back to my channel. A lot has happened today. We had some builders in because they wanted to finish up the electrical and also they hooked up my range master, which is now working. Apart from the gas, because they needed a hose for the gas pipes and they didn't have one and they couldn't get the hands on one right now. So they've ordered one, but that will be in the weekend. So I have half a range master. All the ovens work, well, the two ovens and the grill and that bit doesn't. I know now I'm heating up two ones. I thought in the beginning that I heated up this one as well to clean out, to get rid of the smell and stuff but now i'm not too sure because apparently that one doesn't turn on when that is flashing and as i turned on all three to do that i didn't realize that one of them wasn't on because they all make noise right so i just didn't realize it so that one is on now now my dinner is in that one so yeah i suppose we're just gonna give it a try it's gonna be charlie bingham's chicken tikka masala for two even though i'm by myself so in terms of the kitchen um yep yeah. so i yesterday i fitted in this side bit which should carry the weight of the countertops as well as the wall and the cabinet next to it. So it's not like solely based on the whole like tiny thing. Uh, I haven't attached it yet to the dishwasher because I might have to move it around up and down still. And if I, you know, it's screwed in, it's stuck. Um, I did attach it to the bottom and to the wall and two places in the back, so that should be fine. I'm now working on the door. So what I did is I drilled some holes and we have one handle that's in place. So I can actually fit that in there. I drilled a hole in the side for this little nifty bar. I figured out where the corresponding hole on the other side should go, which was a bit harder because this is obviously a different size than that. So the standard IKEA measurement tool did not help me out on that side. So we're gonna put that in now. First, I do need to put in one of these little nifty items, but this one is too tall because I didn't want to go all the way through that one because that's way slimmer than that one. You know, that's how it goes. So now we're gonna solve this while we're waiting for dinner. And then hopefully we're gonna have dinner with the little door in, I reckon. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Probably not because that's gonna take like 20 minutes. This is probably gonna take longer than 20 minutes because it also needs to be screwed in. Wish me luck. Well, here we go, my first ever range master food which is nothing but a fancy ready meal i sort of the little piece i screwed them both on so on that side one on that side i'll pop in the bar see if they're straight first i'm just gonna take out my food let it rest for a second got the bar in got the food out not sure on how straight it's actually rather straight it's maybe a bit the left bit is a bit more forward i suppose but it's not bad am i also because i'm like wonky in front of it actually i don't know it might just be well to be fair like i can angle the dishwasher to make sure that it fits straight so it's not the end of the world gonna hang the door with the little handle it's gonna be fun but first let's find some uh, utensils and a plate you know what i'll take you through the house and give you a bit of an update as well while i find my plate so this is still all the same as some kids from the bmq i still need to do this this floor is still like this this is still the same although we have a new window which i think i updated on also the builders put in a new socket ah right there that's great that's for the washer dryer it's on a separate circuit so that's great some of the ikea cabinets have like slowly but surely disappeared this is bits for the kitchen as well by the way so top corners there is some pieces in here still this is still the same I haven't touched that since i still have these laying around <coughs> this is skirting board um i'm not sure if we're going to reuse it actually i don't think so but i also don't want it to also when i'm not sure then we have the doom story about this floor okay i'm right it's actually not that bad but in person it's like bright orange i did one bit we did it three times to see if it would darken up and it didn't so we're getting rid of it again <laughs> um so yeah and then found out that a hand sander is not a great tool to do this task. So we're going to run the big sander again and just send it all down and then re-parnish it. Because it was ugly. Okay. This is the still same old mess. Just going to grab a plate. Welcome in a dusty household. So we're going to grab the middle plate. Not the top, not the bottom. Going to grab some somewhat dusty cutlery. And I'm gonna grab a beer from the cupboard. So I have some leftover Peroni from the housewarming. Peroni is not my go-to beer. I don't really, I think it's too, I don't wanna say basic, because it's a lager, a pilsner, I like that, but it's like unexciting. Like a Heineken would be more exciting than a Peroni in my personal opinion. But let's go have some food. Pop this in the fridge for like a second. Oh my God, it's in. It's actually in. Shocking. Should we just try it? I am gonna have to, Oh wait, that's obviously stuck on the door. Wait, I'm gonna give it a gentle push to get loose because it's not like the dishwasher is still free roaming. Okay, okay, I gave it a little nudge. You see, that's happening. That's happening, but it's sliding, it's sliding, it's sliding. I'm gonna hold this with my elbow. 
push this down. Oh my god! Look at that. That's solid. That's actively solid. Honestly, this looks great. It is a bit lower though than I hoped it would be, but I reckon that's just the way it is. It's way better than I would have hoped to begin with, so I cannot complain. But yeah, I'm now gonna enjoy my dinner on the floor, which is definitely the most hygienic place to eat. Okay, so it looks a bit better now. It popped out, that's why it looked off. But it's the same length-ish. That's amazing. I am proud of myself for doing this. Hey, welcome to more kitchen DIY on another Sunday. Um, yeah. I have not been filming a lot again, I know, I'm sorry. But in all fairness, the stage is relatively similar. There was a sort of two cupboards that are just roguely living there. There we have the sink, dishwasher, range cooker. It's all like very, very similar. However, we got up the next suspension rail and we did the electrics. As you can see, there is like, I know this is a very, very poor filling job, but it needs multiple layers. And yeah, I'm just gonna accept the fact that the one like behind the rail that's gonna be continued past there is just not gonna be fully filled, which is fine. I'll do like, you know, finish up the rest nicely. That's what it looks like. So we're quite excited about that. I also started filling this bit up because that will be the inside of my cupboard. So it needs to be like nice and stuff, but hopefully we can get in those bottom cabinets. Currently I'm just like filling the gaps. So like I did on the other side as well, I put in some expanding foam. It's like fire safety expanding foam, so it's fine. So to keep out rodents, that type of thing, also insulated, but also to just get in, I'm just mostly just filling the gaps to be fast. This one had like a huge gap right there, which just kept on disappearing. So I'm like, you know what? Just gonna have to live with it. But yeah, so I'm gonna stick up this board up against it as well as like an extra layer of protection also because it is cables, so I don't wanna leave it out. Also, um, I just wanna have it just all covered up, just makes more sense. I might actually put a little rim below it as well. I didn't do it on the other side, but the other side doesn't have as big of a gap. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna see how it goes, I reckon. So this one is on, so I glued it and then I secured it a bit further with nails. I need to fill this gap with some poly filler, which is fine. And then to do the bottom, because obviously there will always be like a tiny little gap because the floor will never be fully straight. We have one of this like beading, which is a bit more like flexible, if that makes sense. So I can glue it onto this, not the floor. And then hopefully we have as least gap as possible that's the goal front two tubes of pulley filler this one's already been used but i haven't used it for a while so i hope it's still good it feels still it doesn't feel rock hard so it should be fine so i'm just gonna fill that gap that gap right there and i'll get back to you there we go so i pulley fill at the top like everywhere because it has a small gap everywhere so i figured might as well just you know do it right and get a little closed off and a little game over that. I know it's not a pretty just polyfiller job, but I really care because behind a cabinet, it's just, you know, just a job. So I'll just glue this on. Use this Gorilla grabs anything instantly, which it doesn't by the way, because that one did not grab instantly, but wish me luck. Mm -hmm. 